Hey, hey guys, it's Vernie here. Another Tuesday, another vault. Looking like it's going to be one of the last vaults of 10.0, or I guess more accurately of 10.0.7. Don't know how much content we'll be doing over this week, so this could be the last one of the season. As you can see, I did a little more than last week, but not much. Kind of winding it down. A couple of these 16s were just helping friends get some 16s done on their alts. But we'll go ahead and get started. And I guess we will start with the Druid. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I don't know what kind of upgrades are even left for these characters at this point. It's pretty piecemeal stuff. And because I'm not doing 20s, I don't think I'll be getting any upgrades, which... If I take tokens, that's totally fine. You know, the tokens will convert to gold at the beginning of 10.1. So it's not like it was for nothing. <clears throat> Just less exciting than a, a fat drop. What is this? A cinematic? Yeah, I'll skip this. We can watch this later. Oh, boy. So... Oh, my add-ons are broken. Love the patch. Okay. So I think what we're hoping for here is a feral weapon, which is about the only upgrade. I guess shoulders could be an upgrade. Uh, yeah, so we'll just stay as Feral, and we will go for it. <laughs> that is a Feral weapon! Okay, cool. That's, uh, 13 item levels. You know what? We're happy with that. Been kind of memeing around on the spec, you know, tanking dungeons. We did a couple Break the Meta Dungeons as a Bear Druid, just to get that done, so... I am reasonably happy with that. Under the raging quaking. Well, not, it's not the worst week. Okay, we got the paladin next, and the paladin's one of those characters where I did a key, and I don't think I can get anything from it. I was just helping a friend get some of his alts, some easy keys done. So it's one sixteen. It's probably going to be a token. Trying to think if there's anything I could use at 415 that I would want. Uh, I've got a 421 holy weapon, I have a 421 ret weapon, I have a 415 shield, I have a 415 prot weapon. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I guess I'll just stay as Rhett and uh, let fate decide. It doesn't seem like it's going to be very impactful. Wrists! And I think we have 421 wrists. Yep, so we take the tokens. There's some gold. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, what we got next... I suppose is the Demon Hunter. So I did finish leveling the Demon Hunter last week. Did a couple keys. Did like a couple like sub tens just to boost my key up, and then I did an eleven to end the week. So it's gonna be like a four oh two piece, which is kind of whatever. You know, this character is three ninety ish from crafting plus the forbidden reach gear. I might be playing this one as like an off meta tank. I was kind of debating doing like a zero to Keystone Hero with this guy. Um, we will stay havoc for DPS trinkets. I mean, honestly, anything at uh, 402 is gonna be an upgrade, probably. I'd like a weapon. Or a, a good trinket, I guess. Not bracers. Not bracers. That's all we're hoping for. And that is a 402 weapon. Okay, so... You know, we ask and we receive. We're fine with this. Look at that. 393. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, and then we have the priest next. The priest did 116 as well. Also the same deal as the demon hunter, you know, mostly forbidden reach stuff. I've done a, a time walking, I think. So I have like one heroic piece. Gear is like 396 or something. Uh, 
We have pretty good trinkets. These will get boosted eventually. Um, so what am I hoping for? I guess like a helm, an offhand would be good. Legs would be good. I'm trying to think, do I need a trinket at all? A 415 trinket, what trinket would I even take? I guess a rage feather, so I should stay shadow. That's really it. The rest will be upgrades, but just not as exciting. You know, like some of the smaller elf pieces. Another neck, when I have a neck, and I can craft a lariat. I mean, you know what? I think we just take it. And if the stats are... The stats are not very exciting, but... Whatever. It is an upgrade over the haste verse. 399, so we're just breaking into the 400 territory. And lastly, we've got the Shaman and then the Rogue. Shaman just did 120. I don't think I need anything this week. I do think I'll be able to get a socket if I desire. The one exciting thing is that most of my Shaman's gear has been upgraded because I have a lot of crafted pieces, so everything that was 418 is now 421. So both my enhanced weapons are 421. I have a 421 ring. Uh, what else do we have? My Venom Steep Stompers are 421. My Pants are 421. My Lariat's 421. So. We're actually at above 420 now. <laughs> nice. What are we hoping for? Uh, cape Bracers, I guess. That is probably it. A shield would be cool, I suppose. I guess we'll just go elemental and see what happens. I'm also fine with taking tokens, honestly. An Infernal Writ. I think that's not the trinket I wanted. I think I would have taken a Rage Feather or a Shadow Gem. Let me double check. I think Writ is okay, but I. I don't think it's better than Icon. It's significantly lower than Icon. Yeah, okay. So, we're just taking the tokens, and I guess we will get a socket. What can I socket, though? I guess I could... Socket. I could craft some bracers and socket them, which would make them 421. Everything else is already socketed. That can be. So, meh, you know, not super exciting, but it's kind of what we expected. And now we have the Rogue, which I did 120 for the week, and we killed a couple Mythic bosses. So we'll have two Mythic Raid Vaults. So what are we hoping for on the Rogue? Um... We've killed up to Kurog on this rogue, so I am eligible. I'd really like a Mythic Fist weapon before 21. I'd like a Mythic Chest at 421. An Icon would be solid. I mean, the rest would be super minor, so we are going to stay as Outlaw because we want an Outlaw weapon. I do have uh, Concentrated Primal Infusion for my last crafting piece, whatever I decide to craft. So let's go. Let's go weapon. Weapon, icon, Aranog ring. One of those three would be sick. Oh. <laughs> I kind of need both of these, to be honest. What a fucking vault. Wow. That is... That is exciting. And this would be a transmog, which is kind of minor, but god, that looks cool. Um... I think... I think I want to take Icon and then craft a weapon. Because I have... I have the Concentrating Primal Infusion, which gives me a 421, and then I have the Spark of Ingenuity, so I can instantly get a 421. And then with the crafting stuff in Zerolet Caverns, I could boost that later on this coming tier. So my gut is telling me to take the Icon, 
and then I can replace my Ruby Whelp Shell, which is okay for single target, but the icon's gotta be better, right? Let me just double check Blood Mallet. Uh. Yeah, it's way better. Okay, so we're taking the icon. Like, that is. We are 100% okay with that. Like, what a great way to end the season, honestly, with that vault. I'm very pleased with that. Damn. Now we've got two really, really solid trinkets. No on uses, which is kind of weird. I normally have on uses on my characters. But, uh, yeah, so what's, what's happening this week? You know, um, patch technically just dropped. Just no raids. No Mythic Plus is open yet, apart from the old season. So, a good opportunity to go into Zerolite Caverns and see what's there. I do think you can start getting your um, uh, Shadow Flame Sparks, which you need to do the Niffin Cache every week. And I do believe there's an introductory quest related to those sparks this week. So, you will get one Crafting Spark this week. You should definitely do that if you're trying to get your character as high as possible. And I do think you can also start grinding for Flight Stones. I don't know a whole lot about the zone yet, so we'll be doing that mostly this week and see how that goes. Uh, but I don't can't say I'll be running much other content. You know, just see what the new zone holds and then go from there. But uh, good luck in your guys' vaults, and see you next week. Peace.